So alkene reactions are much simpler because the bond is actually weaker. It's, um, it's 614 is stronger, but there's two of them. So per bond, uh, divide that by two, it's like 307. Uh, and so it's actually weaker per bond, even though the bond is stronger, uh, it's shorter and stronger. Uh, when you divide it by the numbers there, it's actually weaker and it's also uh, very negative. Uh, and so that makes it very open to attraction from other things such as H pluses, hydrogens. And so you can see here, it still needs a nickel catalyst and some heat. Um, and so you add the hydrogen. Uh, this goes for all the alkenes. So one electron will go here, one electron will go here. Hydrogen, uh, which is um, over here, will say thank you very much and form a bond like that. Uh, so all, with all of these reactions, um, I'm not gonna do this, which is the mechanism, which is actually should be a half arrow because it's only one electron, not the pair. Uh, we're not taught, uh, we're not teaching you any mechanisms. We'll leave that for university. Um, we just basically need to, to memorize all of these, unfortunately. Uh, and so the summary page is coming at the end. It'll be slightly simpler than these PowerPoints uh, and it's based off what your mark schemes are. So uh, for this, we would just say nickel and heat, I do believe. Um, and I keep it to the bare minimum of what you're going to need uh, as far as the mark schemes on your test are concerned uh, in the summary sheet. Uh, and so again, whatever you add, whatever you put over here, well, that's the thing that's gonna go here and here. So it's rather simple, the alkenes. Uh, so halogen alkene, alkene uh, well, obviously you need to add some chlorine somewhere and some hydrogen because you need the hydrogen to turn the alkene into an alkane. So halogen alkene, I should say. Um, this one here, um, I don't like the textbook um, explanation of how this works. I rather look at the electronegativity and there is a slight electronegativity difference even though we're saying it's nonpolar. So this is more likely um, to attract electrons to it. So this one here is the one that's most likely to grab the hydrogen. Uh, and so I don't learn this rule here. Um, I just look at which one's more positive and which one's more negative. Uh, and therefore I know this one uh, is going to be the one that prevails. Um, nothing is clean in chemistry, uh, especially organic chemistry. So it's, it's not 100%, uh, it's less than 100%. Uh, and this is greater than uh, 0%. You will get this and I dare say some random other stuff as well. Um, and that's even if that's just assuming if your stuff is pure, which it never is. Um, and so that's, you're gonna get two bromopropane instead of one bromopropane. So Mark and Markovnikov's rule, unfortunately you probably, you could be asked a question about uh, Markovnikov's rule. So you just need to, uh, um, be a little bit familiar with that word as well. Uh, if not, um, having don't memorize it, just understand positive attract, attracted to negative as much as possible to avoid memorizing stuff. Okay, so alkenes, uh, bromine water is uh, brown, so uh, that's gonna react quite nicely. Uh, bromine water with an alkene, uh, that's gonna break off and to create a uh, dihalogen alkene. Uh, over here and make it go clear. So that's a good test for alkenes or any double bonds anywhere. Here again, it's a little bit of a repeat from the previous slide. Um, so obviously anything you add to the bond, it breaks up to a single bond and the two bits attach. That's all there is to it. Um, water um, make, makes an alcohol because there's OH and H, so just some concentrated acid. Uh, polymers, uh, do a little bit of practice with that. So you just break this one up, break this one up, replicate it, and um, uh, to, in order to avoid having to do this uh, infinite an infinite number of times, we just put a bracket and make an N. Uh, so the next one's over here. Okay, so some of those can get a little tricky. Uh, the main trick is them, the way they write the monomer, they'll try and write the monomer in a tricky way. Um, so they might put the, uh, it's actually like this, uh, but they'll write it over here somewhere just to try and confuse you so that you write it incorrectly. Um, so you've got to realize that it'll be between this and this. So this needs to go up here as you're, if you're drawing out the chain with the N on it. Uh, so go grab a few of those practice questions. And here is the summary for alkenes. Um, so as you can see, you're just adding a whole heap of stuff to them to make different things. So polymers, alcohols, halogen, alkanes are the main things we do to alkenes.